and it's time to harvest my beets. Now these beets were late germination in the winter seed sowing. If you check out my video where I was sowing seeds in milk jugs or water jugs, these were late germinators. These beets didn't start germinating until June, believe it or not. At that time, the climate was hot and I still needed to grow these beets. So I took them out of the winter seed sowing jug and I put them in containers. This container I had up against the house where it would only get the morning sun and it would get in the heat. These containers, I had a protection over it during the entire summer month. So it would filter out the sun and also keep the insects off it. So I'm going to go ahead and take the protection off the container. And this is how I was able to grow these beets during temperatures in the 90s, mid 90s. Because the winter seed sowing, the seeds germinated super, super late. And I did not want to lose the beets. So this is a great product right here. And um, I used it on my kale during the um, summer months. And so right now, I'm ready to harvest my beets. So I'm gonna take these out, this because I was staking them. And I'm gonna take this out as well. So now, I'm gonna harvest these beets. Look at this one. Isn't that a nice one? And keep in mind, this started with the winter seed sowing jug. Milk jugs, water jugs, and they just germinated late, but that's okay. I was able to grow them during the summer months when it was really hot in a container with a protective cover around it. So I have this one. Oh, now I grew these a little too close to each other, so they're a little smaller, but I have this one. That's not too bad of a size. And I have this one. And again, these grew pretty close together. So they're just maybe a tad bit smaller. I also have this one. So this could have stayed in a little longer. This could have stayed in a little longer. And um, that's it right now. I have my spinach in here and it looks like it's growing from, yeah, I got my spinach in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sow seeds right here for my beets and try to grow some beets during the fall and winter months and see how we do. This one here started late and it's been doing really good. Now that it's um, fall, I pulled it away from the shade and I'm gonna grow it here on the patio where I'm getting a lot of the morning sun. But this is what I was able to pull out of this one container. Isn't that beautiful? Extremely healthy. And again, this grew the entire summer months with no insect issues. They did not get burnt. They stayed cool only because I was able to grow them in a pot. So I'm harvesting beets that started in the winter seed sowing container. Grew them in this pot during the entire summer months. I've got spinach right here that I need to harvest. I really need to harvest this spinach. And I kept it cool during the entire summer, 90 degree temperature with this screen protector. 
So I'm gonna be harvesting my spinach and I'm gonna have beets and spinach for dinner. And I'm really excited about the fact that it didn't matter what time of the year your seeds are germinating. If you can provide some kind of protection for the cool season crops like beets, you can grow them in containers, put them in a in an uh, area where it's going to get, uh, um, it's going to stay cool, provide some added protection from the insects and the hot sun. You can grow food all year round here in Colorado, Zone 5B. Thank you for watching.